So I'm going to look for the New York City skyline. And I'm going to search for an image. And I think I'm going to try to get this one. Let's see if it'll let me have that picture. Probably not. Let's see what happens when I try to save as. It's saving as a web page. So nope, can't have that one. Let's try another one. I'll try this to save image as. It's letting me save it as a JPEG. I'll go with that one. Now I'm going to go to pixlr.com and click on create new. And I'm going to call it New York. I'm going to go with the width of 1,000 and a height of 100. For the background, I'm going to leave it turned off and click create. I'm going to add a T for text tool. Yes, I wanted to add a text layer. And I'm going to type New York. Select the word. Make sure it's changed white. And let's pick a font. We need a big fat font that will fill in the letters. That might work. I'm looking for something bigger. I want more like this, but I don't want to pay for it. So again, we're looking for a free one that's bigger. And if you don't find one easily that you like, then I will tell you that Daddy Day Works. Again, it's a little sounding weird. Let's go with that one. All right. So I'm going to make the font bigger. I want it to stay on one line. So if I get two lines, I went too far. I can go wider. I'm going to make sure I click the arrange tool and scoot it up. Again, I can go a little wider. So I can go with a larger font size if I want. I'm going to change it back and go with a larger font size. Nope, I still want to stay on one line. Looks like 200 is about my magic number. Nope, 190. Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to combine the text layer and this transparent layer. So I'm going to go over to the text layer of New York, and I click this button here that says Merge Down. So it's smashing it down, and now it's just one large layer. Now I need to add the image of New York. So I'm going to go to Layer, add an image as a layer, and click on that picture I downloaded of New York. I want to be able to see through it a little bit, so I'm going to change the settings temporarily of this layer, just changing the transparency to, like, so I can see it better. So the color is going to show through the word. So I want to move this picture around. So I'm going to click on the arrange tool so that I get more of actual New York. I want the lights more of the city. So that'll look really good to me, I think. Okay, I'm temporarily going to turn off the image. I'm going to click back on my text layer and I want to select all this text. So I use this wand tool and I click this blank area. But it didn't get the O inside there and the R. So I'm going to hold down Shift. I'm going to click really carefully so I get those sections selected also. Next, I need to turn the picture of New York back on. Make sure that layer is selected. Now I'm going to use the eraser tool. And I'm going to erase the picture of New York. But I want a big fat tool because I don't want to have to squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. So I'm going to actually change this brush size to like 600. And now I'm just erasing. I'm going slowly so I don't miss any parts because it's not doing the full brush. I'm going slowly so I don't miss any parts. While it's still selected, I'm going to click the crop tool and crop so I see more of just the picture of New York, not so much that blank area. While it's still selected, I'm going to go to filter and do an outer glow. And it's asking me, hey, do you like the white? I like the white, but I don't like this white here, so I need to crop it a little bit more. But for now, I like the outer glow, so I'm going to click Apply. While it's all still selected, again, one more time, I'm going to click on the Crop tool and just get rid of that extra stuff that's off the side that I didn't get rid of in the first time and apply it. And the only thing left to do is make New York the picture brighter again. So change the transparency. I went back to Settings, change the transparency back to 100. And there's my picture. File, Save. Make sure it's still saving as a PNG. That way you keep the transparent background look. Download and turn it into Google Classroom.